Hi, it's Jim here again, um, the Extreme Booter. Um, it's Easter weekend, we're down here in my caravan, as you can see, down at the New Forest. Um, the weather's been awful, um, all the car boots have been cancelled, um, which obviously is uh, not ideal. But we've still managed to go to some charity shops, so I thought I'd share with you um, what I've been getting at the charity shops. Um, also, there you may have spotted, I didn't get this at a charity shop, um, this is my son, Charlie. Uh, yeah. Charlie's got his own YouTube channel already. Charlie's uh, Trains. Charlie's Trains. He's mad on trains, aren't you, Charlie? Yeah. Uh, today he's really happy because the sun's almost out yeah. and he's dressed as an army man. So, yeah, he's really happy. Don't think you can probably can't <laughs> see him there because obviously he's camouflaged. Yes. But anyway, we're going to share with you what I've picked up. At the, uh, we've not been to a huge amount of charity shops, have we, have we Charlie? But we've been to some. Yeah. Um, so I'll just show you what I've um, managed to pick up, just to give you an idea of the sort of stuff we buy. I want to show you you've got some handcuffs. He's got some handcuffs. That was his um, present for being a good boy. Hi. Um, and this here also is Eve. This is my daughter Eve. She's got mm. chocolate all over her face because it's Easter. Um, yeah. And she's also got a YouTube channel, the Eve and Daddy Eve Show. Eve and Daddy Show. Daddy Eve. But for now, Daddy. this is not. Ha. This is my. This is the. As I say, my my channel. This is the Extreme Booter. So let's get on with it, Charlie, shall we? Yeah. And let's show some some people what we've managed to pick up at some charity yeah. shops. Um, first thing we got were these two little. Charlie, turn around. You, you're right in front. Of me. Um, a Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles and Garfield egg cups, 50p each. They sell for about six pound each on eBay. So. Thought it was worth picking them up. Um, I went into a shop today and managed to get Guitar Hero 5 on PlayStation 3 and also the dongles. Now they had the guitar for the PlayStation, but the battery um, the battery compartment was so corroded, there's no way the guitar would have worked. But I, I, I bought the dongles and the game for £1.50. Now the game will probably only sell for about a fiver, but obviously. The dongles, a drum dongle tends to sell for about a tenner and a guitar dongle for PS3 Guitar Hero can sell for about 20 quid. So £35 for £1.50. And we didn't even buy the guitar, which is the main bit. So it's still worth picking stuff up maybe if it's not complete. Or I mean, I know these. I, I've sold out an awful lot of Guitar Hero, so I know Guitar Hero. I know they will sell. Um, so yeah, £1.50, bang on. We went to Poundland randomly and I picked up five Disney Infinity Darth Vader figures. They were two pound each. They only sell for six or seven pounds, but you know, I'll at least double my money so from a tenner I'll make another tenner. So although it's only small sales, it's sales and it keeps it going. As as um people say sometimes, um it's the small stuff. <laughs> It's always nice to have something big that will sell for hundreds of pounds, but the small stuff. Yes, I don't know if you just picked that up on the camera, but Eve just did a massive burp. <laughs> oh dear me! Anyway, that bit, there's <laughs> okay. Let's stop laughing, everyone. Okay, back to the seriousness of Daddy's video. Yeah, the small stuff all adds up. So I might sell ten things in a week that only make five pounds each. But that's 50 quid. It, 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 it does add up. It is worth getting the things that you know are going to sell. They're going to sell quick. It's going to be quick uh, money back in your pocket. So moving on. Got some plush. We've got this. What's his name again? It's RJ. RJ from uh, Over the Hedge. Whoa. Animals are in the house. I think he needs Come some on, new batteries. Think about the food. It was worth it for that food, huh? <laughs> But yeah, he works, he's in good condition. Uh, still got the tag on the page, three pounds. Checked him on eBay, 20 pound. So well pleased with that one. And that was because I had these two with me, they saw it and they wanted it. So I say they wanted it, they said that looks good. So we have that. So 20 pound from three pound. We've got a Fimble's Fimbo. Oh, I'm Fimbo. That wasn't a noise, that was, that was me. Um, <laughs> he was also um, three pounds, but he's got a tag. Always look out for the tags on plush. Obviously, it helps with the value. Um, he might be worth about 12 to 15 on eBay. Purely because he's got his tag, it'd only be seven or eight without it. So, 
picked him up for three pounds. There was a pound bucket. Fireman Sam. Pound bucket of plush. They had a fireman Sam. They had a club penguin, soccer penguin. Well, football. And they had a Britney Thai chipmunk chipette. Um, I've sold a few of these. Britney's easily ten pounds, if not more. Um, Club Penguin probably seven or eight. Oh, football. And Fireman Sam four or five, but for a pound each, I thought they were worth a go. Um, and we also got this, which Charlie was amazed by. He really wanted this, but he, he can't have it, unfortunately. <laughs> and that is, I mean, I'd have this if, if I had a single bed, you know. So, but unfortunately, I haven't because I have a lovely wife. <gasps> um, but yeah, so is it worth it though for a Mario? Hmm. <laughs> uh, Ma Mario, single duvet and pillowcase, uh, double sided, we paid, it's got the price on here, five pounds, sell for between 17 to 20 pound on eBay. I really it is want so it. cool. The guy actually in the shop commenting how cool it was because he, again, had the same issues with me of having a, uh, somebody else in his bed. Um, then we went on to clothing, I picked up a... Chelsea away shirt from about 2007. 2007? Yeah, 10 years ago. And a training shirt again from the same period, overpaid for them, £3, £3.50 each. Probably only worth £7 or £8 each, but you know, you do these things even when you're, you, you know, you've been doing it for a while, you still pick up things and think, why, why did I buy that again? But I did. <coughs> same shop though, we got this. Now that is a cool t-shirt. I wish that fit me. It's a Funko. Funko Pop. Captain America Civil War t-shirt. It's in mint condition. Paid £2. That's probably going to... I'm, I'm going to go start on 15 for it. Could always drop the price if I need to. Um, but awesome t-shirt. Last bit of clothing that I picked up. Super dry uh, jacket. It's been in the bag so it's really creased now but I'll get me steamer out when I get home and, and straighten that up. Um, yeah, super dry. It's XXL so it'd actually be a nice fit for me if I fancied it. Six pounds. These sell anywhere up to 60 but this one does say it has a problem with the zip. Um, I've not actually checked. Yeah, the little bit of the zip pull there is broken but because it's super dry it has three different zips so it's still <laughs> you can still zip it up so I'll, I won't be going for the 60 on that. But even so, I'll get 20 for it all day long, no problem. So I've six pounds, not bad. Um, we got a couple of snooker cues. Yeah. Um, saw these and thought, oh, these are nice. Used to play a bit of snooker. Um, but these are both Riley. They're both pretty much exactly the same. I think one's slightly older. But they're both, I don't know if you can see that on the screen there. Where is it? There. Steve Davis. And they're Riley Steve Davis. Now they're quite old ones. Um, need to do a bit more research on these. Any Steve Davis queue is worth at least £20. Can be worth up to 60 I need to do a bit of research on these. I mean these are really good conditions to be honest. Um, so let's say 40 a queue. I paid £3 a queue. So £6 into AC just by, you know, getting them. Okay. They come in the, uh, the, the the cases. The cases aren't the best, but I'll include them anyway with the sale, just so that it helps them when they're posted. Um, I also saw this. That is a Plano fishing tackle system. You can use um, it for anything. Yeah, we're obviously down in the New Forest. We're near the sea, so this is mainly for sea fishing. I don't think it's been used. It's really clean. Again, I've looked on eBay, smaller ones have sold for around the £30-£35 mark, but this is much bigger than those. comes with six individual little tackle cases inside it. I'm going to go for 50 I think, on eBay, and I think it'll probably sell pretty quick, to be honest. Um, paid £6.50, so again, a, a decent return. Um, lastly, picked up some board games. I always tend to pick up board games when I can. I've been known to buy them by the pallet load. Um, there's good money in board games. Got a Strategio Star Wars edition. I've checked all these games, they're all complete. 
obviously quite a lot of the ones that you do buy um, from charity shops and car boats and stuff have bits missing, don't they, Charlie? Yeah. Which is a bit annoying, but I've kept, I have kept. I tend to keep them. I know a game's worth a decent amount of money. I tend to keep them even if they're not complete in case I get it again and need a part. A lot of people sell parts. I, I don't get into that at the moment, but obviously I may do in the future. But I've got a good stock of, of good board games at home that are missing bits in case I can find them. Um, so I don't. I do throw away quite a lot of board games, um, but it's look at the draw. But most of the time you're okay. This one, as I say, Strategio Star Wars Edition, fully complete. I did pay six pounds for this, but I know that's a twenty pound board game, um, especially in the condition it's in. So uh, yeah, that was a good one. I got a Downfall big box. Downfall 1970 and that's the downfall to get if you can get one um, It's complete again. The box has got a few little marks on it, but nothing Outrageous that's that was two pounds. That's easily 15 anyway. um, What else did we get? Vampireology um, Didn't yeah. know never seen this board game before but she turned into yeah. a vampire. See if we can get that to do that on that. Can you see that on the screen? You can look she, she's a vampire She's a princess. See? <laughs> awesome. Bought it because I like the box, basically. Um, checked it, it's complete. Good board game, actually. Paid £3, 17 to 20 um, Again, bought it because I like the box. Um, another one, bought this one. This was with it. Bought that because I like the box. Um, House of Anubis. It's a Nickelodeon board game. Checked that on eBay. That's 20 to £25. Again, that was £3. I think that's pretty much it. I bought some other little bits and pieces because obviously the kids came with me, so that's not the best thing to do sometimes because you always end up with bits and bobs that they want. But anyway, that's from half a day going around some charity shops. That's what I've picked up. Um, I say no car boots, so nothing to um, to show from them. Hopefully there'll be some next weekend. I'll be back at home next weekend, but hopefully there'll be some up there. Um, next weekend and we'll get some more stuff in the meantime and, uh, and go from there but uh, enjoy the rest of your Easter holidays everybody thanks for watching the video please like and subscribe check out the kids channels as I said um, and I'll be back with some more um, extreme booting videos soon okay thanks for watching bye bye